From the Depths of Dark Water is a 2002 Japanese horror film directed by Hideo Nakata and based on the short story by Koji Suzuki, who wrote the original Ringu novel. The film follows Yoshimi, a mother going through a nasty divorce who moves with her six-year-old daughter into a creepy apartment where every surface is coated by strange water. And yes, this film and its American remake called Dark Water with Jennifer Connelly were the movies compared to the real-life mysterious death of Elisa Lam at the Cecil Hotel in downtown Los Angeles in 2013, fueling internet conspiracies for years. But the American and Japanese films predated this tragedy by many years, and as far as the similarity is concerned, let's just chalk it up to the endlessly spooky power of artistic imagination. What is true is the arresting nature of the visuals in Nakata's original film. Even all these years later, the Nakata of this era was the king of practical effects, from an elevator filled with water to a small girl without a face. He knew how to compose a shot, how to edit the tension, how to use anticipation and reveal, and how to use light to create a reality that feels pedestrian and urban, but also magical. It's a shame, really, that when Nakata transitioned to American studio filmmaking, he was saddled with a stinker like The Ring 2. Ironically, the sequel to the remake of his own film. But I would go so far as to say that the DNA in that sequel has more in common with From the Depths of Dark Water than Ringu. But in any scenario, the Ring 2 will always be the one that gets flushed away. Ghost stories might be the hardest thing to do in horror. In the words of John Carpenter, Ghost stories are hard because they have to be light. Mm -hmm. They have to be light of foot. They require a light touch. Nakata knows how to bring lyricism to his movies kind of visual and sonic poetry, which is hypnotic. Nakata understands that the essence of a great ghost story is not the ghost itself. It's how the ghost plays in our relationship to memory, our guilts, our grief, pain, trauma. Those are the real ghosts. Now, I'm not gonna lie. This movie has a bit of a pacing problem. There's a dolly shot of Yoshima climbing up a water tower that feels about 40 seconds too long. The second act lags with a few extraneous investigation scenes. But that bit of padding is forgivable. And next to nil compared to The Ring 2, a movie made up of nothing but padding. And it's all worth it for the final 10 minutes, which will break your heart. From the Depths of Dark Water is currently available from Arrow Video and on Tubi, and you can follow my own filmmaking journey at patreon.com backslash therealmontylight.